The time we began our freedom and on July, last, last July, about uh, five and a half months ago. Uh, immediately we came out, we issued a statement which my, my son signed on behalf of myself and the family, thanking different categories of people who in one way or another helped to help us in regaining our freedom. One of those categories was mentioning was the press, journalists. They, 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 we, 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 we thank them very much for all their endeavors. They have been with us all through. They have undergone a lot of uh, tribulations and in part one of them was killed in, in action, uh, uh, July 2019, you know. Uh, in front of uh, the federal secretariat, so we we, we 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 thank them very much for standing by us. And when we came out, I did not immediately give chance to journalists for for, for long, because we were hoping we were hoping at that time it, it will take little time before we actually were allowed to go out for. Uh, me medical attention. That's what we, what, what we are hoping. Because all, all of us came out with uh, health issues. My, my wife and myself, we still have fragments of bullets in our body. Uh, my wife has pulled bullets, which they have been unable to remove here. And they said that they, can, they could not remove it. But uh, experts from outside promised that they can do that. Uh, in, in addition to that, she had, for the past uh, five years, and, and even up since July 2016, she has been uh, chair bounded. She could only walk with using wheelchair, and she prayed while sitting on, on, on a chair. And they know that very well. She needed knee replacement. Uh, which, of course, in, in this country, if they if they make the uh, knee replacement, one uh, the patient will take about three months before before he walks. Somewhere else, it may take less than a week. But if it's three, after three days, he can be able to walk. Now, myself, I have fragments of bullets which are scattered all over the body, and they are secreting poison. Uh, lead poison and cadmium poison and other poisons. Uh, and it, with the recommendation from doctors here, including government on doctors, I, 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 we needed what they call chelation therapy, which will remove the, the poison and pass of all, but the, the fragments also have to be removed, which they said here yeah, they cannot remove those fragments because there are tiny fragments moving around the body. All right. So we were hoping at that time, it was, it was a matter of week or so, we will be chance to get out for our medication. But up to now, it's, it has not allowed us to do that. Uh, and of course, after about uh, two months or so, I had my pass uh, interview with, uh, with the first TV, <laughs> but directly through Skype. Uh, was the headquarters in Tehran, which was aired. And of course, there are so many press releases which our our people have been releasing from time to time, giving you an update about our issue of our passports, our health, and so on. And the, 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 you have been very, you have worked very well. Thank you very much for airing all this and, you know, publicizing in both print and electronic uh, media. They have all circulator, all those things. So I'm, I'm, I, I have to apologize for not for not giving you this chance at the very beginning, <laughs> you know. But uh, I, I learned that some, somewhere, Ajun, why why is it that they have been given all this support? They have not seen this man. You well, know, you are fortunate to see me. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, this is uh, an occasion which in which we remember. The, 
the Zaria massacre, which happened six years ago exactly. Uh, it started on 12 of December, you know, uh, 12, 13, and 14th of September. Three days consecutively, the uh, soldiers in the Nigerian army have called on Zaria town, including all the roads leading to the town. And they carried out systematic killing of uh, people they, cons they consider unwanted. Whatever name they gave us, at that time they are calling, they are saying they are, they are clearing people they call Shiites. Uh, in fact, in Gelisu they were asking whoever they, they want to shoot, they say, is he Shia? And the crowd will say yes, and then they will fire. And then if the Christ will say no, they will allow them to go. So they, 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 clearly they were saying they were, they, were, they, were, they were destroying Shia once and for all. All right. Uh, on 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 the of uh, the the ones the same ones they reach me and they open fire on us, myself and my family. You know, instantly killing three of my sons in front of me and injuring both my wife and myself and some others who were with us. Well, luckily enough, for, for the wisdom of God, we don't know why, but just for he, she so designed that we, my, my wife and myself will survive because we, the, the shooting was the shooting that nobody can, nobody can survive it, but God will. And God is able to do anything he, he wishes. So, on, on 15th of the same month, exactly a day like this, they brought us to Abuja, you know, passed to the military hospital. Then they took us to later on the same day. Whatever, because it was two, around 12, 12 night, midnight, is it? Up to 12 midnight, that would be 16th of December. They took us, they changed the hospital from military hospital to DSS hospital, where we remain for for some time, and then they, they kept us in custody, their custody here for some years, and then they took us back to Kaduna. We are still in their custody. Finally, they took us to prison, and you know, as you all know, uh, in the end of the day, the court found <laughs> ourselves innocent, you know, you know, and discharged and acquitted us. In the same way, they have discharged and acquitted different courts about three different courts they have discharged and acquitted so many others who were arraigned before them with the same uh, similar charges. Now I find that up till today, if I am reading some newspapers, they will say, Zek Zeki and his wife were arrested following a clash <laughs> between uh, his people or his followers and the Nigerian army when uh, his people block the road for the, uh, on, on the day that the, the, the chief officer was passing out. Now, this matter was taken to court. They have accused some people of uh, blocking the road, all right? And including ourselves, they so say we, 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 we instigated the blockage and then about uh, 153 others were all arraigned before different courts for the same charge, blocking the road, causing this and that, about it, it count charge, <sighs> including the murder of a soldier. And this court, the, uh, the past court, did, uh, which gave its uh, verdict on sometimes in July, July 2018, it's, it did not only say that those arraigned before, it's 77 of them, they did not, the court did not only say that these people who did not commit the crime, but they said the crime was not even committed. This is very important. No blockage of road whatsoever. Nobody blocked anybody's road, and nobody killed anybody. The, the army cordoned everywhere and killed everybody they could found. 
No, even if you are, you are whatever you may be, because the, the, near the, the what we, a place we call Husseinia is a center, Islamic center. There's a, a, a union, a business, unity bank. And this, they consider Shias wearing clothes, they think they, they, they wear black clothes. And because the uniform of workers of that bank, they wear black, they shoot all of them. And also in, 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 in the, it's, uh, it's about three kilometers away from the area where they say the road was blocked. That's where my house is situated. I don't know whether my house also block uh, the road for the Chibaksta. They want us to cordon the prison and kill everybody in the Korban, including our neighbors. Some students of uh, uh, Congo campus of uh, Amadebele University. A lot of them were killed. Some people, students of uh, FCE, Federal College of Education, where, which is our neighborhood. Also. A lot of them were killed. Some of them even not Muslims, Christians. They killed everybody they could find. All right. And, but, and then they said uh, the, the, the court, it's very important, the court, the past court said that the, the road, road was not blocked. Nobody blocked anybody or any road. The second court gives similar verdict, and the third court, if you get, if you get, get the verdict on, and all the, in, in fact, they brought my speech, part of my speech, in which they said I instigated the blockage of road. And it was clear what I was saying that if the soldiers come to attack us in our territory, don't block their road. That was very clear. And the judge even continued to mention, he said, where, 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 where is the blockage of the road here? So nobody blocked anybody's road. Simple, they could not say why did they attack. It was very clear that it was a plan attack it in order to destroy all of us. And they have even said it earlier, and you can hear in my, some of my speeches earlier, they said we have learned that these people are planning what they call all out war, in which they will clear all people they call Shia once and for all. And another thing which I have to clear very much is, uh, is the idea of calling us IMN, <laughs> with abbreviation, uh, Islamic Movement of Nigeria. I'm calling myself leader of Islamic Movement of Nigeria or in Nigeria. I know we use the word Islamic Movement, but to our understanding, Islamic Movement is not a name, it is an idea. Like Islamic Awareness. Islamic ideology, Islamic education, Islamic philosophy. It's, 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 it's a sort of concept. We never use it as a name. And there is nothing like members of Islamic movement. If they don't exist, they are only activists. Activists, not members. We don't have membership card. All right. We don't, we, we don't have, you don't register because you become part of it. Once you are active, you are just active. That's all. It's open for all Muslims, not only Muslims. It's open even to non-Muslims. You may, you may know that, maybe you don't know. You, there, there is Christian forum of the Islamic movement. Among the fora we have, we have many forums. We have academic, we have many fora. We have academic forum, sisters forum. Uh, remind me, so many forums, media forum, media forum there are so, so many, so many forums. In the, so, so, no, the, sorry, for, for, plural forum is called fora in English. We have so many fora. But one of these fora, forum, fora is uh, the, 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 the Christian uh, forum of the Islamic movement under the leadership of Pastor Johanna Buru. So it's, it's, it's a sort of an idea which everyone can belong to. The idea is movement is you are, you are moving towards a change. The reason we call it Islamic is because we agree to give our lives to do it because it is the teaching of Islam. That's all. According to the teaching of Islam, you are supposed to do everything for the sake of your, your creator. So whoever, whoever identifies himself with the idea is part of the movement, all right? N not members. <laughs> and similarly, the Islamic movement the, 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 does not own a single property, movable or unmovable. There's no building which belongs to the Islamic movement. It doesn't. 
or all the buildings are either private property or property in according, in according to religious institutions. We have what we, what we call we, we, in our own in the Shia. They have what they 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 they, they believe that that is uh, they have a, 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 a leader of every time, and that leader has uh, can, can, can can own some property, and the property belongs to me. Only Shia can know this. They, they, it is uh, it, you know it is due for every Shia man to give one piece of whatever booty he gets, all right, to the imam of his time. And some people are given the custody to collect and manage this. Okay, so it is religious, not belonging to a movement. The, when they attack us, they call us Shiite, 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 Shiite. You know, they keep, continue to keep, keep giving us different names. In, in early 70s, Early, in late 70s, rather, late 70s, from 77 to 79, they were calling us students because then we were students. In, in the early 80s, they were still calling us students. Even 1980, they were calling us students. Then 1982, they changed our name. They, call, they start calling us Shiite, 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 with different spellings. Sometimes they, and different spellings and pronunciations. Sometimes they say Shiite, whatever, they, whatever that means. I know the last time we were in court before before this time it was the didn't Abacha time I was asked in the court like, are you not leader of shites? I said what is shites? Is it tea or coffee? I was asking. <laughs> then they, they joined this, uh, some newspapers coming. Zakzaki deny shites. Zakzaki denies shites. You said he's not. He was on shites. So I don't know his shites. What is this shites? Uh, all right. So they continue to call us the shites shites up to the time. They attack us in 2015. Now it is down to them that there is a section within Islam called Shia. And they have made a mistake of attacking religious group. So they now change them. They say we are IMN. <laughs> so they coined the name. We have, the name we have never called ourselves. They now decided to say we are an organization called IMN, and then they say they ban that Islam, that IMN. I don't know whether in the, the, the in in the Constitution of Nigeria, uh, courts are supposed to make law. What, what I know is courts is not law making. It is uh, it is it interprets the law. The three arms of the government. You have the executive arm, the legislative arm, and the, the judiciary, which interprets. Now, instead of taking the, the, this government, instead of taking the matter to the assembly to debate whether they can ban a movement or not, they wrote uh, the law and gave it a court. The court put a bastard and they said they have banned the Islam movement. We said this, you have to understand, and they say proscribe. You have to understand that the Islamic movement is unbannable, is unproscribable. It cannot be proscribed. It is impossible to proscribe it. It is an idea. It is like you are saying that you don't allow them to practice their, their religion. You, you, you don't allow them even within their heart to believe in what they believe in. You can't prevent me from believing what I believe. No way. Islam movement does not own a property. We don't have any property. All the properties they, they, they destroyed were either religious property or personal property. Like my house, I don't know what about my house, which is a band into ashes and and even the, 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 the house which I buried my mother inside the city, they want to destroy it. They just, even, even our horses, cows, and uh, you know, sheep, they all killed, even though they have eaten all those, including one camel. They, they, after shooting them, they, they become meat. I don't know whether they ate the, the, our horses also. Maybe they just killed the horses, but they ate the camel, uh, camel and the cows. So I don't know, these are not property of any institution. It belongs to myself. They are my own personal property. All right. Uh, get it very well. Islamic movement is a concept. It is an idea. It is ideology. Whoever is making a move to see Islam restored to its glory is part of Islamic movement. Whether he calls himself Islamic movement or not. 
and Islam Oman has no members. It has only active people, so activists, not members. All right. Hold properly. I explain this. <laughs> now uh, I will give you a chance to ask questions, uh, and but please limit your questions to the the, the very incident. It's very important. I know, I know you journalists, you, you, you are thirsty to ask about so many other things, particularly, particularly political. Uh, I, I'm not interested in that. Do you remember, we have been wronged. No. Here is a, you have a family which has lost its members. Remember, six of our sons were killed, and our brothers and sisters were also killed. You know, so the old property destroyed. So you. you we have no time to think of, uh, you know, the political issue, issue, issues that are going on. It's our own, our own concern is our, what, what happened to us and how the, 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 we get the way out, inshallah. Thank you very much. Go, my, my inshallah. Uh, sir, I would like you to explain to us um, how to just the Zaria massacre was to the Islamic movement. And uh, maybe while doing that, also personally to you and your family and other members, there are so many other members. Uh, so that is my first question. And then the second question is has to do with an update, kind of. If you have a strong medical condition, medical situation, and you need to go out to get back your health, what is the update? Why is, are you still here? So just two questions. OK, thank you very much. Uh, of course, they have done a lot of damage to us. <laughs> they have targeted some, some particular individuals for killing. There are youths we, who constitute a sort of group we call uh, Abul Padil Abbas unit. And the, it constitutes of youths of 10 and 20 ages. 100% of them students, mostly of universities, either post undergraduate, or some of them postgraduate, but when they are masters. All of them are students of university. All of them, 100% of them. Are all students. They targeted a lot, a lot of them. They have a list of them who, whom they wanted to murder because they think that the future will be all of these boys. Some of them are pursuing their courses outside the country, including my, my sons. When they came for holiday, you know, they were all, two of them were studying in China. One was in uh, you know, Lebanon. They came all for holiday, they were all murdered. All right. The, 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 the idea is they want to kill the future. They wanted to kill the future so that there will be no food. They think that this, they, they have a top, some potentialities. Some of them are very intelligent and they pursue some courses. You know, like uh, one, my, 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 my son who is studying chemical engineering and has got green uh, paper. Green, green card, and also the other is aeronautical engineering, and the, one of the best universities of aeronautical engineering is a genius. You know, they they, they murdered all. They, they have a list of this those people, those uh, youth, men and, and women among the boys and girls rather. They murdered mo almost all of them. About only about how many survivors? about it also, and there were many. So they have done a lot of damage. And they, among the, 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 those they kill also are some doctors, medical doctors. And that and because we are running a kind of uh, hospital in that Husseinia, it's the center, it went, they murdered all the patients and all the nurses and all the doctors. This was untold. And the destruction was terrible, you know. I, you know, sometimes I don't want to mention 
it's smaller things like I was talking to you on you know, how they were urban shooting horses. These are just little things. <laughs> but if they murder human beings, you know, about you know about one thousand over one thousand people were murdered in three days, and they all carried all their bodies and dumped them in different mass graves. They didn't take, they didn't call, consider the right of anyone. You know, I was saying. And, and, and it, it, if a man has a right, even a dead person has a right to be buried according to his religious belief. But these people took upon themselves to, to take all the bodies and, one, and, and some of them, they burned them while, while they were burying them with chemicals, food chemicals. So they have done a lot of atrocities beyond, beyond uh, uh, you know, thinking. Something which has never happened in the history of this country, you know. So we were no, and I, I was saying in my speech on that day, which yesterday, that uh, I have never seen a war, if it is war, <laughs> without, uh, you know, cause. You know, there has to be, pass of all, something is boiling, hatred, and so forth. In the end of the day, it results in a quarrel. This is not war, it is massacre. You, co you cover some people who are innocent, harmless, and then you murder them. And after all this, they could not say why. Why did murder say? Blockage of the road. What a shameful thing. What a shameful thing. Assuming the road was blocked, as they said, what is it? should they do? Should they murder the people who block the road? All right. And what about all our d different places they had attacked? You know, the, the people who are coming into the area, do you know that people who came from, those who will come from Katsina, they, if they spot people who, whom they consider as part of us, like uh, our sisters normally wear black hijab, if they see one of them, they will now pour petrol on the bus and burn all of it, including the driver and, and Kondesta. They burn so many buses and took the bodies and to uh, Basawa, but uh, army battalion, and they were calling them roasted meat. Similarly, the road to Kano, if you know, uh, there was an Anur uh, mosque along the road. They, from that road, they, they murdered a lot. Similarly, the road from Sokoto, from Jos, from Kaduna and from Birnungwari, all the roads leading to Zaria, they were there, you know. And uh, from, from Kaduna to Zaria, even during, around Birnuro and Jaji, whoever they spotted looking like what they consider Shia. You may be um, may, um, unfortunate that day to, to be wearing black uh, garment and would be dead. All right. Uh, and what, what they didn't know that the, that day was poor. That day was not a day of wearing black. It was the well, day of wearing white. So all the brothers were no, none of them wore black clothes, all right? Because it was not a day of mourning at that time. But our sisters, whether it is morning or no morning, it is uh, they always dress in in black, all right. So they have done a lot of damage, but uh, this this has, in a way, they, they, their own intention was to destroy the movement. But in the in, in one way, they boosted the movement, or right. they boosted it, and it became an international issue. People who didn't know what what is the movement, what what, what are they calling for, who are they, they started to know, and not only in this country and beyond. You know, the, this uh, how there have been demonstrations demanding for our release all over the world. You know, you, you remember those people who stage, uh, sit, sit, we did sit out, it is called, sit, sit in, or sit out, I don't know. They are sitting in the, the in front of the Nigerian embassy in London for 52 days. And it was rainy season, they were, they, 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 they are tolerating the rain. For 24 hours, for 52 days. And then when I was in, we were in India, I phoned. I said, I said, I thank them, they can go back. And then they were coming from different areas from Europe. And there were so, there were so many demonstrations in India, 
they, they said that in, in one day there was a demonstration in about 55 different towns in India, in one mm -hmm. day, to the extent that the Prime Minister was even, the Prime Minister of India, was asking, why, why, what, what about this? Really, 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 that Zagzaki? You were thinking that Zagzaki was an Indian man. Which, which state is detaining him? Uh, you know, the province rather. Which province? They, they, he was, he was told he was, it was not in India after all, it was somewhere in Africa. See how, uh, you know, the, the, the issue become, they internationalize the issue. And also they added our supporters. And they have also seen one thing. And what you, I normally say, if, if anybody says the Nigerian people, whatever you do to them, they just sit down and keep quiet. If you say so, someone will say, but not activists in the Islamic movement. Because these people did not keep quiet. And they, they can never think that they can do anything and simply we will keep quiet. We will never keep quiet. And the movement will, can never be proscribed or destroyed or crushed. We are uncrushable. Thank God. This is what they did a lot, a, a lot of havoc, but it helped us in the way they don't expect. Now, I hope I've answered your first question. The second, uh, we were thinking that uh, immediately we come out, we will be able to get out for our medical attention. But we needed our passports. You know, our, our house were destroyed, including the, our own passports. When uh, the court gave the order that we have the right to be seen by our own doctors, we can even be, bring doctors from our side to see us. We invited some doctors from our side. Or right. also the court and give another a different court give another rule that we have the right to go outside to for medical attention, even while in detention. We choose to go to India. It was our own choice. We chose a, a hospital because uh, uh, three of the doctors who came uh, from our side to see us were from India, and this recommended us to go there. And it was arranged that those doctors will look, uh, will be part of the team, which will uh, see to our medication. All right. Uh, at that time, we needed a passport. You know that we did not go to passport office to request for, for the same uh, authority they were in their hands. The, the DSS instructed the immigration to retrieve our passports. So they, they retrieved all the pictures and signatures and everything of the former passport and made, and made two, new, two brand new ones without us going for capture. Because you know, all, the, all the details were there, the, the some print do not change. You know, even pictures, they were not changed. Signature, they not change. So everything, they do, they do, all the information is the same. So, so they retrieved the, the, the old passport and made the new one for us. And then when we came, when, they, when we came back, they decided to bring us back without medication. All right, because if, we, if, it, if it appears, going to India, maybe you may, you may read an account written by my wife about uh, our trip to India and what happened. She has written an article about it, giving all the details of what happened. So they have the passports with them. They didn't give us the, uh, the passports when we came back. When we were released, we, uh, we, we went for the passport to the DSS. The DSS said that the passport were in the hands of NIA. The NIA now said, oh, you have to write. We wrote. They said we have to do so many others. They can continue to do this. And finally, they said that they don't have the passport, meaning the passport has been lost. So since it is lost, you know, you know the process, you have to declare a passport. We don't even need to do that because they retrieve the old passport. They can retrieve a new one. All the same, we went to, uh, to we make the report to the police of the loss of passport and we, we swore, swore an affidavit in it epidemics in the court of law that the passport had been served with, collected all the documents that were necessary and submitted for, for issuance of a new passport. And up till now, they have not issued a, a new passport. So what he is holding us is a lack of passport because we cannot travel outside without passport and our passports have not been given back to us. We have taken the DSS and the 
and, and, and the Attorney General, Attorney General and the, uh, and the ESA to court over the seizure of our passport. But, oh, the, the matter is in the court now. But uh, they, in their own response, the DSS, which placed a red flag on the passports, now denied placing any red flag. And they have written, in the, it appears that they have removed, officially removed the flag, and then they said they have never placed the red flag. Good enough. So it means the, the immigration can issue a new one, isn't it? So the immigration has not given, issued a new one. So we are thinking that in the next, sitting of the court, we will find and uh, we will join the immigration in, 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 in the same case. In the same case, DSS, Attorney General, and the immigration well, are going to take, the, the, take them to court also. Well, meanwhile, we, 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 we live with the issues. Imagine somebody with fragments of bullet in his body, and that fragment of bullet is uh, secreting poison, you know, and that poison is dangerous. And then we are just living with it like that. I, I managed to take some traditional medicine which can prevent the circulation of uh, that poison in, in, in the blood, that's all. Well, we are still hopeful. We didn't lose hope, but it appears that, uh, you know, the process which shouldn't take uh, even a week has taken us up all these months. So that's it. S -s Simply put it, the reason why we are not out is because they have not allowed us to have our passports. Help to wife, as you are saying, and people. General Well, we are managing. Generally, we are managing, actually. Uh, I don't want to talk much about uh, my suffering because sometimes I get to understand that uh, the enemies get happy when they hear that we are suffering. So sometimes I even pretend, particularly when we are in prison, I t try to walk briskly so that these people will say, oh, he's, 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 he's healthy. Hey, look, so look at him. And it, it hurts them because they won't see me, <laughs> you know, die. So I don't want to much, all I know is I have, I am suffering from uh, wounds within my body, which require professional uh, attention, professional attention, which actually they cannot be done here. Uh, I, they admitted these tiny fragments, they cannot remove them, all right? The, the chelation therapy to remove the poison may be easy, but removing the pilots, tiny pilots will be difficult. Particularly when some of them have gone even under the brain, you know, in my, my, you know, some of them are under, under, under the skull. This is very difficult, sensitive uh, thing to do. So we are managing, inshallah. We are just managing uh, the way, the way, see, 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 see my wife is uh, chair bound for five years, imagine, working on a wheelchair, which is working with electronic wheelchair. All right. But for here, it's it, it, uh, it, uh, possible because there's no lift, she has to climb using the help of someone near her to, to climb on, uh, to the uh, upstairs. But in the upstairs, from moving from one place, she has to use wheelchair. Even I'm going to toilet from bed, she has to use wheelchair. So we are managing life, that is all. Thank God Almighty, who kept us alive. Um. Still, um, the, you know, on this issue, you know, about your illegal detention and all this work, um, there was a time that uh, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohamed, raised a very serious controversy that he spends he mentions of millions of naira to feed you. I think this is an opportunity for you to actually spend that. That you know, that allegation, you know. So, what was was it like? Yeah, uh, thank you very much for asking this question. I don't know what you'd be exclusive, but anyway, since you, you insist that it is exclusive, <laughs> actually, uh, we have not opportunity to say what, what was the real story while we're in detention. 
because the people who are detaining us uh, will make, make things difficult for us. The real truth is all through our detention, we have been feeding ourselves. And if, since the time we reached Kaduna, up to the time we were released, the, nobody bought us a single bottle of water. We are feeding ourselves. So our, even I would say in Abuja, we were feeding ourselves. But we, could, we, would, we could not see, because we were feeding ourselves also illegally. Because legally they are supposed to feed us. All right? But they don't want anybody to hear that we are feeding ourselves. We are actually paid ourselves all the years, five, five, five years, seven months, we are in detention. Throughout, we were feeding ourselves. Nobody gave us a bottle of water. So how did Lai Muhammad get that? Okay, but we, 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 yeah, even, even light, we are, we are paying for electricity bill while, while in, in our own detention. We are paying for electricity and water. We are paying. We are paying also for uh, fuel for the generator. Even we bought the, our own generator. In, in Abuja here, in detention, we bought our own the generator. And we are buying our own fuel. So how did he get the information? I, I don't, even though his name is Lai, but actually he was not Lai. They were, they, 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 the DSS told him so. They told, but what I learned, that they, it, they, they were, they were, what, what they were taken out from FIR, Federal Inland Revenue, was about 4 million every month for our period. So those money were going to their own pockets. Not a single cobble has gone to us. So it will be, even though his name is lie, but uh, maybe, maybe, maybe at, 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 it is true they were taking the money, but they were not feeding us. And it is lie that they were feeding us with those money. He said 3.5 million, that's what they called him. But it, if I have, from one source, I had learned that it was 4 million every month. And similarly, even the, when they harass people, whenever they take, our court case was taking place, they harass people of Kaduna. Even though most of the time we are not even going to the court. They were saying they are giving protection. Also, they are removing a lot of amount of money. They are saying they are giving protection to whom? I don't know. They are protecting themselves. Okay. So, uh, now, let's look at this issue this way. Uh -huh. uh, some people are arguing that, um, you know, you and President Buhari has personal issues. Is it true? I, I, don't, I don't know whether that, that personal, personal issue, why, why it will, maybe Buhari should be, should, should be, should be asked. <laughs> I, but I don't know. Uh, all I know is uh, that there's nothing like personal issue. Maybe he, he, he was he was given as a condition for, for being in office, but I know Buhari may not may not, may not say because you have never seen Buhari and talked to him like this, and you will never maybe because he doesn't speak. He only he only read by putting his finger. <laughs> All right. So, so, you know, it is, with the way this thing is going now. Uh -huh. You believe that you will get justice from the courts because they say the judiciary is the last hope of the common man. Well, uh, in, 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 whatever is we, 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 we get, we are trying to prove one case for the general public to know. All right, for people to know. That's why we sometimes we take our matter to court. You know, the first time we took this, we took them to court. We are able to win. You know, the uh, justice, the governor called our who ruled that we, our detention was illegal and you should be released unconditionally and compensation should be paid to us and uh, 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 you know a house should be provided for us in a place of our choice all this they have not they have not uh, they have not obeyed the court order but all of this is this is uh, a case in our paper and against them all right. Similarly, this case of uh, uh, discharge and acquittal of our people, including my wife and myself, 
all our cases in our favor and against them. All right. It all goes to prove that they, they, what, what they did was not right. All right. So even if they did not, in the end of the day, provide us passport to travel, we will make our case known that we, we, we have asked for our right and it was denied. Have, have you taken this matter beyond the shores of Nigeria and maybe to the international community? Yeah, well, through pressure, there have been pressure from, uh, uh, from different international groups. Uh, the ECOWAS, the EU, uh, the International Human Rights co co uh, Organizations, they have all spoken, but to no avail. Now, um, when you recall the circumstances of your children that were killed uh -huh. and some of your followers, what really comes to your mind as a father? Well, you know, this, uh, when, you, when you take to the road, you, this is a first, you know that I have, there's bound to be some tribulations along the road. So myself and the people who are, are with me, we, we all take it as a sort of test. And we hope, it, by the grace of God, we will pass the test. Now, you, you have told the world that uh, your organization is unbannable, unprescribable, <laughs> and um, all, all that. And uh, this is a government that people say is no respecter of laws, the Constitution. Um, Thereafter, do you feel safe in this, what is going on? Do you, are you, do you feel safe? Well, you, you have mixed the thing up. <laughs> okay. Just say, do, do you feel safe? First of all, I have to say, we, we don't have organization. We are saying that this is an idea. You cannot say you have proscribed an idea. Like you used to say, if you say Islamic awareness, you cannot say I have banned awareness. If you owe Islamic religion, or Islamic uh, uh, education, or Islamic ideology. You cannot ban this. The Islamic movement is like an ideology. You cannot ban it. You cannot proscribe it because it is in the heart of the people. You cannot remove it from the heart of the people. So it is not removable. Even if you say, you, you, for example, you, if somebody make a law and say he has banned uh, religion, will it be banned? Uh, because it's in the heart of the people. Or, or he say, if, if it's so specific, he say he bans Christianity. So people should, see, Christians should be, cease to be Christians? No, they will, they will be, be Christians if he ban, if he ban Christianity. Because it's in their own heart, that's what we are saying. And uh, this issue of safety, I don't think anybody in this country is feeling safety, including yourself. <laughs> Either in and along the road or at home, nobody is feeling safe, uh, you know. So we only uh, depend on God for protection. That's all. Do you see that uh, whatever is going on, especially, uh, do, do, do you see it as political, especially what government is doing, your persecution, your tribulation? Do you see that there may be some material motives, just for some political reasons? Well, I know th those people who in authority you should have asked them, not to myself. Uh, all I know is, uh, as an activist, I, I have I have a, a, a path in which I am following. I know that uh, there has to be some tests, so I have to continue. But those for whatever reason they are doing what they are doing, what we are saying to our challenge to them is, let all of us do what we can. Let, let them continue the way they are doing, if they, if they think it will. If they, if they think if they will succeed in so doing, and we will, we will never also stop what doing what we are doing. I think you have taken more than five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's my pleasure, sir. Thank you. And that's okay. This, this is, is, is I, I've said it in my address, and uh, yeah, you know, thank you very much.